and I also need myself some. Okay, that's what it looks like. We had that kickboxing class and um, kind of kicked our ass a little bit. But I'm going to get ready to start cooking. Um, I am starting a new meal prep, as you guys know. So I had to get a couple different things that um, I'm going to have on my diet. But right now, I am going to make some coffee. I picked up some Starbucks uh, Vias from, Starbucks, or, um, from Costco. And these things are delicious. So make some coffee in my Wonder Woman mug. And then I will show you guys the meal prep. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my fish. So um, this week I'm gonna do cod. I kind of change it up every week. And so I just buy the wild Alaskan Pacific cod from uh, Costco. And then I'm just gonna take them out of the bag and put them in the water. And I've preheated the oven to, I guess we can go to the oven. Um, preheated this one to 415. Um, and then I have this one going, so I make my, um, sweet potato at the same time so that I am multitasking so I will get those ready and I'll show you so I just took a pan this one is from Marshall's and I put some foil on it and I sprayed it with a little bit of coconut spray and then I just have um, don't mind my animals <laughs> um, the cod in the water and that'll probably be in there for about 15 minutes so I'm gonna move on to the potatoes and I will show you guys how I do those. And again, these are just like kind of updated, not really any changes, but figured I'd get some new videos up that you guys are asking me for. So uh, yeah, so for my sweet potatoes, I'm just using the organic sweet potatoes from Trader Joe's. They're really small, if you guys can see. And I'm just gonna do a couple since most of my meal is gonna be um, rice or quinoa actually this week. So I just take foil and I do that. And I'll put this on a tray and I'll put it for one hour in the oven at 400 degrees. So I'm gonna do brown rice and I'm just using a big um, rice cooker. And I put four cups of um, the brown rice. I'm gonna do eight cups of water. And I'm just using that brown rice I got, the short grain brown rice from Costco and it's delicious. And that'll just go in the rice cooker and I'll press it down and I'll do the work. So I'm going to do the vegetables in this pot and I just fill it up with water and it's on high heat to boil. And then I'm going to do my veggies. So I bought some frozen green beans um, since I didn't have any fresh ones. These are the organic green beans. So we'll do those. We will also do some broccoli. All right, so I just took the asparagus and I just chopped off the ends. Um, and then I just put them in here and I washed them and then they're going to go in the boiling water for four minutes. So prep those and then I'll get the broccoli and the green beans ready. All right. So the cod is thawed. Uh, thawed. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? Anyways, the cod is thawed out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and season it. I've just placed them in the uh, pan. I put um, some garlic powder. Um, lemon pepper and then I like to put a little smoked paprika it just really tastes good so I'm just gonna do that and then I will show you all right and that's what it looks like and these will go in here for about 20 minutes on 415 
Okay, now it's time to make the turkey. I just buy the extra lean 99% fat free Jenny O. When you're eating this clean and you're on a competition prep, this is the turkey you want to get. Um, it's pretty delicious, and all I do is saute it. I don't do anything too fancy, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll show you guys. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the coconut oil spray. You can use Pam. Just be careful when you're spraying. Um, if you look at um, the uh, serving size, it's a third second of a spray, and that's literally like that. The rain is coming too today. So once the pan is hot, I have it on like high. I literally just dump it and then I start um, like breaking it up like this. So for the organic chicken breasts, I just take them out of this plastic and I'm gonna put them in this pan or um, bowl and I'm going to season it. So I'll show you how I do that. And then I'm gonna go outside and turn on the grill once my green beans are done because I'm multitasking. So that's why I set the timer so I don't forget. They're just here in the pot and they're gonna be in there for four minutes. So as you can see, there's about two minutes left on my timer. I've got my sweet potatoes and then I'll check on my fish. It's been in there about 15 minutes. So still got a little bit of time. 60 seconds, so I'm gonna get my strainer. See, I'm just showing you guys what I do because it's a lot. Um, and it's a lot of multitasking if you haven't like figured that out. Um, since there's a lot of green beans, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a pan like this. And I don't dump all the water out um, because then what, you just have to keep re reboiling it. So I just, I'll show you. Basically, take it out of the pot like this and then I'll quickly run them under cold water and I'll show you that when I get done okay, and then I'm just running it under cold water Okay, so I just put the asparagus in and those are going to be on there for four minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and break up more of my turkey meat as it begins to cook and I'll just turn it over. Turkey takes about 20 minutes um, and I just keep kind of doing that. And I don't season it until it's totally cooked, in case you're wondering. Okay, so I just did the asparagus. Um, just FYI, a lot of you guys were asking me, I don't freeze any of my food. It lasts seven days. Literally, anything past seven days, it's not good. But the asparagus are perfect and they don't get soggy. I keep them in a Tupperware that actually keeps them a little more crisp. Um, and yeah, so I don't freeze it. But um, So I just took those out. <clears throat> I'm gonna get ready to put the um, broccoli in. This will be the last veggie I make. I'm just making, I do about three veggies to change it up for the week. Um, I'm gonna throw those in the pot and then the turkey is coming out pretty nicely. It's getting cooked. And basically I'm doing this while the turkey's cooked and then I'm gonna season the chicken, get that on the grill and I'm almost done. So this whole process takes me like two hours I'd say total. I could go even faster if I wasn't trying to like film some stuff but and the animals keep crying and want food and anyways. So let me get the broccoli in there and I will show you. Okay, so all at the same time, the broccoli got done, so I took that out and I'm just rinsing it. I went ahead and seasoned my chicken. A lot of you guys were asking me how I season it. Um, and I kind of change it every week, but I always have a tendency to use garlic powder and the smoked paprika because I just love it when it's grilled. And then today I added a little extra spicy seasoning blend from Mrs. Dash. And it's just, these are all salt free. So as long as there's no sugar and salt, you're good. Um, and yeah, so I've covered them. I'm going to go outside and turn on the grill. Um, but let me show you how I season the um, turkey meat because while I've been doing all this stuff, the turkey meat is done. So I kind of turned it on low. Um, Oh, and I took the fish out. <laughs> the fish is done too. So, fish was in there about 25 minutes. Um, let me season the turkey. So, let me show you what I do with that. I'm going to use smoked paprika, garlic powder, ground thyme, 
ground mustard, black pepper, and about two cups of water since I did two things of the ground turkey. I'll just pour it on there. And then I'm just gonna mix it up and let it kind of absorb all of the seasoning. And this is gonna be great with brown rice, um, tortilla, corn tortillas, um, little avocado and salsa for the week. Um, you can eat it with sweet potato. It's just a really tasty protein and I love the smoked paprika. And if you guys are wondering how much I put in, I have um, under health and fitness, I'll probably try to get that a little more organized on my blog, but you can go there and it, I show you exactly how much I use. Um, obviously now I've been doing this so long, I don't even measure it. Um, so I'm just gonna let this like simmer on absolute low until it absorbs all the juices and then I will um, pack it up. So next is the chicken. I'm gonna go to the grill and I'll take you guys. All right, so I'm at the grill. I like to use this 100% um, natural vegetable oil Pam grilling. Um, it's made for the grill, so it's like for high, uh, high heat. Um, I like to clean the grill because <laughs> it's kind of dirty. Um, but first I like to um, scrub it and then um, I'll spray it with ham, and then I'll put the chicken out. So let me just get this done. All right, so I'm back, and I usually let the grill get like super hot. This is probably hotter than most people, but I like it to be kind of burned. So it is really hot, and I will um, go ahead and spread the chicken out. All right, and there you have it. I'm gonna let it on there for about six minutes on one side. All right, so my chicken's done. I turned it over and put it in, um, left it on for four more minutes. So it was basically about um, 10 minutes. These weren't very big chicken breasts and I had the heat on like 500. So um, they're cooked really nicely and I don't do anything fancy. I basically like take it and I break it in half to make sure it's cooked. But um, this is how I like it cooked and it's kind of burned on the edges just a little bit. It's not like burned, but you know, you guys know what I mean. Anyways. Getting ready, I have my Tupperware set out. I'm getting ready to weigh and measure all my food. All right guys, so I made my hubby some pre-made um, meals and I also made myself some. So that's what it looks like. All the work. <laughs>